Alors, ça me fait plaisir d'être avec vous. Uh, I'm happy to be here with Jennifer O'Connell, our parliamentary secretary, uh, to talk about a listing that our government has taken under the criminal code terrorism provisions. Earlier today, our government announced that we have enlisted, we have listed Ansarala, also known as the Houthis, as a terrorist entity under the criminal code. Since the early 2000s, Ansarala has waged an insurgency in Yemen, seeking to unseat the country's internationally recognized government. The group is also closely linked to the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Quds Force and Hezbollah, two listed terrorist entities in Canada. Au cours de la dernière année, Ansarallah a mené de nombreuses attaques contre des navires civils et des bateaux en mer rouge et d'autres voies navigables, ainsi que contre le territoire israélien, attaques qui ont fortement contribué à déstabiliser davantage la région, la région et mis en péril, en péril les civils. À la lumière de ces attaques, en janvier dernier, le ministère américain des Affaires étrangères a désigné Ansarallah comme un groupe terroriste mondial spécialement désigné. The terrorist acts perpetrated by Ansarallah in the Red Sea threaten civilian lives and global supply chains, and we stand with the United States in using every tool at our disposal to hold this group and backers to account. The listing of Ansarallah as a terrorist entity has immediate legal and financial consequences. It's now a criminal offense to provide material support to this group, and persons seeking to enter Canada who are affiliated with this group will obviously be inadmissible. Our law enforcement and national security agencies work every day to protect Canada and Canadian interests around the world, and I want to thank them for the work they have done on this file. Nous avons toute confiance dans la capacité du service de renseignement de sécurité et nos agences de sécurité nationale à effectuer leur travail essentiel pour la sécurité des Canadiens et à garantir la sécurité des Canadiens et des Canadiennes, non seulement au Canada, mais appuyer nos alliés dans ce sens, à travers le monde. We'll never waver in our commitment to work with allies to hold global terrorist groups to account and punish them in all their forms. And will, you consider expanding, will you consider expanding the powers of the mandate of the CVSA to allow them to patrol in between ports of entry? I mean, why should that job remain with the RCMP? It's from a order and council from the 1930s? Because the RCMP have done a good job in that regard for, I guess, 100 years, to, to use the date you picked. Uh, the RCMP are the national police force. Uh, they have partnerships with the FBI and other uh, partner police forces. But we're always looking at ideas. Uh, we've taken note of that suggestion. Um, I've discussed that with the commissioner of the RCMP. We haven't made any decision uh, in that regard. The RCMP um, have uh, peace officer status with respect to arresting people on the territory in Canada. They also have access to criminal intelligence uh, and partnerships with other uh, organizations essential for this work. Um, and we think it's important for them to continue doing, the RCMP and CBSA, to continue doing the good work they're doing now. If we were to undertake a big machinery and government change that may require legislation in the room behind me, I'm not sure it would speak to the um, to the urgency of the matter, um, but we're always looking at good ideas and we're not dismissing this one, but it's not a priority for us in terms of arriving um, at the conclusion we want. <laughs> you want to buy helicopters or what now? You talk about the urgency. What are the next steps as a result of this conversation in Mar-a-Lago? So, Catherine, you'll understand we, we don't have like a shopping list. I know we're sort of three weeks away from Christmas and we're not going to bring the shopping list of exactly what models of drones we're going to buy or what kind of helicopter, two engines, one engine, what kind of infrared sensors and night vision equipment will be on, um, will be on those helicopters. Uh, I have, the RCMP have been working with the CBSA and others 
on a list of technology and equipment that would supplement the equipment and technologies they already have. Um, I'll be working with the finance minister and other colleagues very quickly to ensure that they're in a position to procure that equipment. I spoke to the commissioner of the RCMP and the president of CBSA about this this morning. And when we have details of what additional equipment will arrive, uh, we'll be happy to share them with you. Um, but the operational details, the operational details of where this technology and this, these personnel will be deployed, you'll understand is important for uh, police operational reasons to keep going. Comment avoir des drones et des hélicoptères? Comment avoir des drones et des hélicoptères? Ça va aider à apaiser Donald Trump. Expliquez-moi. Mais ce n'est pas simplement un exercice à apaiser M. Trump. C'est un exercice de continuer le travail important qui est déjà fait, qui continue d'être fait tous les jours. Euh, on dispose de plusieurs équipements de ce sorte-là. Euh, il s'agit, je pense, de rassurer les Canadiens et, en conséquence, nos amis américains, que la posture euh, à la frontière est sécuritaire, que nous avons les ressources humaines et l'équipement et la technologie nécessaires pour continuer d'assurer la sécurité de notre frontière. On n'accepte pas le prémisse ou l'idée qu'il euh, y a euh, une posture à la frontière qui n'est pas sécuritaire. Cependant, on reconnaît des pressions, que ce soit le fentanyl, que ce soit euh, la migration irrégulière à travers le monde. Et on comprend l'urgence de rassurer nos amis américains que les dispositions sont en place et que nous prenons, comme eux autres, euh, la situation euh, au sérieux. Interference in the conservative election, uh, allegedly, is, is, uh, should all parties be forced to tighten their rules? Uh, we, as a, as a Liberal Party, have taken this issue seriously from the beginning. We wish the Conservative Party had. Um, we have offered, as you know, uh, a highly sensitive security briefing to Monsieur Poliev, precisely so he can see the nature and scope of the threat of foreign interference in the Conservative Party. Uh, if Mr. Poliev continues to decline this offer from the government that other leaders have accepted, he can explain that. Um, I have a lot of confidence in the work that CSIS does in terms of detecting and disrupting the foreign interference. I see those briefings uh, very regularly, and I wish the leader of the opposition was interested enough uh, to be able to see them himself. En français, si vous, uh, 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 si, si, si vous me permettez, en français, uh, sur la question de l'ingérence étrangère, uh, nous trouvons déplorable que M. Poliev a refusé uh, de prendre la cote de sécurité nécessaire pour avoir accès à des renseignements hautement classifiés qui pourra lui permettre de protéger son, sa formation politique, son parti politique et son caucus. D'autres chefs uh, ont accepté l'offre exceptionnelle du gouvernement. Moi, je vois uh, des rapports du service de renseignement de sécurité uh, sur la nature et l'évolution de la menace. Je pense que ce serait important pour M. Poliev de le prendre au sérieux. Uh, et c'est à lui d'expliquer aux membres du Parti conservateur et à son caucus uh, pourquoi il continue d'agir d'une manière irresponsable. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.